new North Dakota voter ID requirement. It's a major concern to many Native American voters who say this will hinder their right to vote. Renee Cooper spent the day on the Standing Rock Reservation. She's here to tell us what the Native American community is worried about as Election Day nears. Renee. Thanks, Chad and Lauren. Going into effect for the 2018 general election, the new Supreme Court decision says voters are now required to use an ID that has a residential address on it. A P.O. box no longer qualifies. The problem is many Native Americans live on the reservation without an address. It's mostly P.O. boxes. And with the election less than a month away, tribal chairman Mike Faith says there isn't enough time to satisfy the new requirement. The opinion we're getting out there is discrimination. So that's how I would say this um, new law affects um, Indian country within the state of North Dakota. We also spoke to students at Sitting Bull College. There's a lot of important issues for us that we need to have our voices heard and um, and have a say in those decisions that are being made. Bora says she has a street address now, but growing up, she did not. The Secretary of State's office sent out this press release. It says the office has been communicating with tribal governments regarding ID options. You cannot push the Native American nation aside and say, suck it up, buttercup. You have to say, okay. What can we do to work together? Democratic candidate for Secretary of State Josh Boucher says there is no proof that voter fraud is happening based off people using P.O. boxes. What I can tell you is that the current system itself is not secure. Um, you know, I've used this example when I've talked on the radio that I live at 517 First Street North. My neighbors are 521 First Street North. I went on the DMV website and changed my voting address to 519, which is essentially a bush between my neighbors and, and my house. Nothing in the system stopped me from doing that. Chairman Face says he has no opinion who the people of Standing Rock vote for, as long as they are able to. Whatever they decide to want us to do again after this, we'll end up taking that step also. They can't keep us from the polls. We have that right to, um, to vote. Chairman Faith did give the Secretary of State credit for setting up five voting locations for Election Day compared to the usual one. The Tribal Council will be holding an open forum tomorrow where the community can voice their concerns. And Chad and Lauren, they'll also learn what they can do to update their ID. Back to you. Renee Cooper reporting. Thanks, Renee. Voters will be deciding whether or not to legalize recreational marijuana in the state. But